Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Matwichuk, and in today's intermittent reinforcement email, I discuss the ego-based reasons behind procrastination. Procrastination rears its ugly head in many people's lives, and it's hard to imagine someone who hasn't procrastinated or held themselves back when acting sooner rather than later would be better. Students procrastinate, employees procrastinate, we all procrastinate from time to time. And in today's email, I talk about the ego-based reasons. Very often, we procrastinate because one, we recognize that a particular task is important and we desire to do it well, but we then transform that desire into a rigid idea and think that we absolutely have to do perfectly well. From there, we then tend to rate ourselves if, in fact, we do poorly. We may not allow ourselves to do poorly, so we don't attempt to try and learn from the experience of doing. REBT is a very effective form of psychotherapy for many different problems, but especially procrastination. In REBT, we target the rigid attitude towards the important task that is not being worked on, and then we teach you how to challenge it, dispute it, question it, and create an alternative attitude. We also teach you how to accept yourself with your procrastination, but also to overcome it by accepting yourself. We teach you to allow yourself to do things poorly, to force yourself to do things poorly, and to see that a performance, whether it be a good performance or a bad performance, never defines your essence. That when you resort to using a performance as a definition of your human value, you get into all sorts of ego-based, unhealthy emotional problems, such as anxiety, shame, and depression. So REBT frees you, liberates you by helping you, one, have a healthy attitude that's flexible towards your performance, and two, teaching you how to accept yourself whether you do well or poorly, and then to act upon that unconditional self-acceptance so that you actually do whatever it is that you're avoiding and learn by doing. Humans learn by doing. And you can't become an expert in anything unless you allow yourself to do it poorly or do it mediocrely. Eventually, practicing enough times until you do it fairly well. So I would encourage you to carefully read today's intermittent reinforcement email, listen to this audio, and make an effort to not avoid but lean into your challenges. Take calculated risks. Accept yourself whether you do well or poorly and to cultivate your talents through effort and practice. I would also remind you that on Saturday mornings, I hold a Zoom conversation hour where we talk about all sorts of problems with a volunteer, whether it be procrastination or some other form of avoidance. It is held at 9 a.m. Eastern, that's 2 p.m. in the UK, 4 p.m. in Moscow, and 6.30 p.m. in India. So I hope to see you there. If you'd like, you can invite a friend and they can get a free conversation on how to apply REBT to a particular problem or you yourself could step up and volunteer. So. If someone needs an invitation, they could write to me and request one at rebtdoctor at gmail.com and just have them put into the email that they would like to attend my Saturday Zoom conversation hour. So hope to see you then and you will see me make my best effort, but recognizing that there may be some imperfect aspects to my performance. 
I'll accept myself nevertheless. Hope to see you on Saturday.